Please rise and greet your fellow parishioners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, um, peace be with you. Um, I welcome you on the new weekend uh, and new years of the liturgical celebration, first Sunday of Advent. Advent is mean coming. And also during the season of Advent, we gathered last night with the parish Plus upon these Advent briefs, and also lights up the first candle for the four week of preparation for the Lord coming for the first time in Bethlehem at Christmas that we are preparing in human flesh, being with us among us. And the second of His coming in glory, and that we celebrate in the Eucharist and also the word we hear. So trust in God's love and mercy as we say, Lord, have mercy. Them. Christ, have mercy. Them. Lord, have mercy. Them. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Them. Let us pray. Rent your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resort to run forth to meet your grace with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. O oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you, while you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from old. No ear has ever heard, no eye has ever seen any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you, for you have hidden your face from us and delivered us up in our guilt. 
Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. You are the, we are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Our second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account, for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. Them. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling aboard. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. We enter into this Advent season and 
the wonderful thing you come into the church, you see all the green banner removed and with the purple uh, banner, and you see come and wisdom of God. O come radiant dawn, O come key of David, O come Lord Jesus, O come, you know, Emmanuel. All of these, and you see on the banner, and then you see the Advent brief. One of the Advent candles being lit dead, and you say, wow, what's going on? Because you missed last night, you was not here. When uh, the faith community that ready come for the new years, we gather to place upon this Advent wreath, and you know the circle with Evelyn, uh, and then also four Advent candles, and I hope that during these four, you know, week during Advent season, you also light up the Advent candle at your home on the dining room table or in the living room and say a little prayer because we hear today that we join with the universal church and we celebrate complete the cycle A with all the scripture reading, you heard a lot of gospel of Matthew. And then now with the cycle B, you heard this morning at this month with the gospel of Mark. It's short, but it's very direct. Be alert, be watchful, because you do not know when the Lord come. At midnight, at the cock crow, when you know, or in the early morning, and have to be alert and have to be watchful. And so the church calls us how to prepare that Advent, it means coming. How we prepare the Lord come first in the history that we celebrate at Christmas. And yet, many of us, after Thanksgiving, we are prepared and we want to get the gift for the people who we love. And during this coronavirus, we are waiting and waiting for the vaccine. And you heard the good news now. The vaccine is already, you know, come closer. December, January, and February, Hopefully, every one of us have vaccine. And then we can come back to the normal, you know, so-so, and don't have to wear face mask, so-so distant and all, and this virus will be over. And yet, we're waiting. But why to the time we're waiting, we have to be alert. We have to alert so we don't get caught into this virus. And we don't want to express out this type of virus. Kill so many people. Many people get sick. So how do we do and prepare for this four week of Advent? You are always welcome to this house of prayer. We have Advent reflection coming up on December 4. We have daily mass. You are welcome to join. We have weekend and all even during the challenging time. The governor that easily that he also know how important for that releases that reaching out and have faith in God. He closed down this, that, and all the things. But he also say, you know, the, he wrote to us, you know, re religious leaders last week. He said that, please help us to protect the Washington, you know, city and people who live in Washington. Remind them to wear face masks. Remind them to so, keep the social physical distance. Remind them to washing their hands and then all that. Wow, that I am surprised with all the good news going on, the bad news when you turn on and you see that how those letters he say, he admire, he say, is important. And so we gather here. It's important to prepare the Lord come, but there's, we have to be alert and we have to be watchful 
And so the first time the law came in Bethlehem, in the human flesh, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. And then you can read in the four gospel, the gospel of Mark, the gospel of Matthew, it more detail and as well at Luke. And so during this four weeks, reading the gospel, reading the daily uh, scripture, and yes, we prepare the Lord come in first time at Christmas. The second time he coming in glory, he already come in the sacrament we celebrate. He truly present in this Eucharist, in his word we yet heard. And yes, we gather here, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless upon us. Be watchful, be alert. And so we continue to reaching out to care and share the love to one another. Please stand up. So together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. He ascended into heaven and seek at the right hand of the Father to come again the Lord just in the name and then that kingdom may have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord gave of life to receive a Father and the Son with a Father and the Son who is the Lord of life. No ear have ever heard, no eyes have never seen, greater wonder than what God have done for us. With confidence, then let us offer our prayer to God, our Father and Redeemer, as we sing. For the church held close by the shepherd of Israel, that all will be open to receiving God's merciful love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are entrusted with positions of leadership, that they may govern with wisdom, prudence, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For the sick and their families, friends, and caregivers, that they know God's healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For this worshiping community, <coughs> that we rouse ourselves to cling to God this Advent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We now offer our personal intentions. For these and for all the prayers entered in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. You, O oh Lord, you are the potter, and we are the clay, the work of your hands. Shape us in your ways of justice and mercy. Form us in your peace and crop us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> Except we pray, O Lord, this offering we make, gather it from among your gifts to us, and may what you rent us to celebrate devotely here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He assumed at His first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design You formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last make manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as with our end. We acclaim. Um, You are in this holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending thou your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Amen. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, press through all the water, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through the age. We may marry to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that is, is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, racistly drained peace in our world day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously rent her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer his author the sign of peace and love. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us. We pray forever now, as we walk at m i s passing things, you take us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast. To what endures through Christ our Lord, I thank you so much for being a wonderful stewardship of the treasure, time, and talent. Thank you for turning in for the commitment call that so we know and work with the financial council even during this challenging and difficult time. And you are so generous. And loving and care and supporting the parish, so we able to carry on different ministry. Thank you for all the volunteer during this difficult time and willing to help, so we still able to have mass opening and welcome every one of you. Please pray for the sick, those who in fact with the virus, those who are quarantined, they not able to be with us. Remember them and pray for them, and hopefully that the vaccine coming out, and then we will get back for the normal way. And I know how challenging and difficult for you and for us and all, but God always with us. Advent, the Lord coming, be alert, be watchful, because He always with us. We not able to be alert enough to recognize him and among us. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen.